it's a snare it's a trap to get angry it's it's a it's a spiraling down it's a it's a it's a fool's it's a fool's path and whenever you call someone a fool they get angry well who who wants to be rebuked people don't don't even like to be criticized softly how are they going to handle a rebuke people don't like to be rebuked people don't like to be criticized and that's exactly what they need they need a harsh rebuke Especially Christians in the church system, churchianity Christians need to be rebuked. They need to be uh, they need to be uh, brought back to Christ centeredness. Yes. Well, now the church has become a recreation center. You know, that's what happens when you let the system become infiltrated by the devil. They'll eat all manner of unclean foods in the church gatherings, the church barbecues, and the church picnics, and all those things. They'll be full of disgusting pork hot dogs and all manner of things that like shrimps and things that they shouldn't be eating. It says in the Bible not to eat those things. And then they'll tell you something, how the, the law doesn't matter anymore. Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, they completely ignore that book. They don't think it's of any value. They mock that book. I think it's better to focus on the entire Bible, particularly the words of Jesus Christ. But what I'm saying about the unclean foods is it, it's a sign of how the church system gets infiltrated by unbelievers pretending to be believers well who knows what they believe but it's not the same thing that jesus believes in because we know what jesus believes in because he told us when we see what jesus believes in we can he we can we can read it we can feel it in our spirit and then we witness what we see in the church and we don't see the two connecting we don't see the two connecting and therefore because they don't connect we have to we have to we have to bring it up and we have to mention it. We have to rebuke those who we think are leading astray. But no one does that because they don't want to be, they don't want to be rebuked themselves. So it continues. It becomes a business. And before you know it, they're, they're turning the church into daycare. False teachers create false believers. And you'll know them. There's lots of false Christs. There's false gospels. There's all manner of things. And anyone who is not of Christ is of the Antichrist. So you have a choice here. You have to be careful that you're Christ-centered and you're Christ-like.